Hello mates, welcome to Full Stack Java Developer. I am Kiran Jadav here. In this session, I will teach you MySQL basics. See, what is MySQL? MySQL it is a SQL database and this is open source database. Then in this session, we will go ahead with the MySQL basics. Then first we will start with the theory and then we will come up with the practical approach. See, what is SQL? SQL it means structured query language. In database, there are two types of database available, SQL and NoSQL. Then today, here we have started with the SQL, it means structure query language. In the upcoming sessions, we are going ahead with the NoSQL as well for MongoDB. Then see, SQL comes under RDBMS. RDBMS, it means Relational Database Management System. Then see, modern database systems such as we have here MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, Oracle etc. And the database, see, the data in RDBMS is stored in the database object called tables. And a table is a collection of related data entries and it consists of column and rows. Then you can simply say in table there is available column it means heading and row it means actual data available there. Then best example I am giving here like First thing, we are going to create the database. Create database. And once we have created database here, the next we are going to use database. You can directly use, use database name. Then third thing, we are going to create the table as per our business requirement. Fourth, once table is created, we'll insert a record. It means insert data into table. And fifth, Whatever data we have inserted, we are trying to read it. We are trying to retrieve it. Then you can simply say read data. Sixth, whatever data we have available there, we are trying to update as well. And the seventh, you can simply say we are going to delete data as well, right? By using query itself. Then today's session, we are going out with the basic like functionality for SQL, like how to create database how to use it, how we are going to create the data, database table, then how to insert data into table, then whatever data available in table, we are trying to read by using SQL queries. The next, we'll go ahead and update data as well, and the final, we'll go ahead and delete the data. For that perspective, practical perspective, we have available here, MySQL, as you can simply say, this is black window, like command line uh, client, you can simply say, then, in industry, they are not going to focus such a like black window. They have available editor, either workbench, otherwise SQL yoke. Then this is the first session. That's why, that's why I will prefer to share SQL yoke. Then if you want to install the MySQL, then first you can simply go to Google and just type the MySQL download and you can install for your particular operating system. I will recommend you can install the MySQL 8 version. Next, you can simply can go to Google and install the SQL yoke. And this is you can simply use like community edition here actually. Then see SQL yoga also here open source. Then I am just going to create the first database. Then how to create database for that perspective query is create database and you know to give database name. I am giving database name as a HRM. See here is I am giving the database name as HRM. Now simply select it and just execute. See our database is created successfully. Database name is HRM. Next query, you can simply use your database name. Use database name directly. It means use database. Simply select it and execute. See, one success it means query executed successfully. Now, we are just trying to use show tables. There is not available any single table. Why? Because we haven't created any table, right? Then how to create table for that perspective I am using here create a table and giving the table name as employee and there will be available column as emp id type is int emp name we are giving here fair care as a type and size is 255 next emp salary and here I am giving double then this is the first session that's why I'm adding only here three fields. You can simply select three columns we are going to add like ID, name and salary. Then simply select it 
and go ahead with the execution. See, table is created successfully, one success. Now, if you are executing show tables, there is available employee as a table. The next, you can simply use desk employee. And once you are using desk employee, it means description about employee table. Then see, here is the description. Now we haven't created any primary key unique key. Next session, I will take care of those primary key and unique key as well. Now here, we just created ID as in type, name as fair care. It means string you can simply consider from Java side. And EMP salary we have given here, double. Now, coming to next, next we are trying to read the data. So let's start from employee. See, if I'm going to execute it, there is available empty data sets. There is not available any single record. See. Then next step, we are trying to insert the data. For that, I am using insert SQL query here. Insert into employee values. And values I am adding here 121 as ID, name as Sora, and the salary I am adding here 97,096. Simply select it and execute. See, data inserted successfully. Here is one success. It means data inserted successfully. Simply use slash tar from employee, there will be available data. See one screen. Now I want to insert here actually five records. That's why I'm just using here. Copy paste the data. We are using here 120. You can simply say two. This will be 123, 124, 125, 126. Here I'm giving the name as Ram. This will be Lakshmi. Then we are adding here Puja, this will be Rajesh, next it will be Darshan and each one I am giving somehow different different salary as well. See one screen, here I am giving different different salaries. Now ending with you can simply add the same column if you want to execute multiple queries. Then simply select it and go ahead with the execution. See, all the five data inserted successfully and the previous one is, it means there is available six record. See one screen. Here you are able to see six record available in database. Perfect? Yeah. Then by using slash star from employee, we are able to read the data and by using insert SQL, we are able to insert data into database as well. Coming to next, next is we are trying to update the data. Then here, we are trying to update the salary for Puja. We are going to update the salary as 2,50,000. How to update the salary? Simply use update table name as employee set EMP salary equal to 2,50,000.99. Use the condition where EMP ID equal to. What is the EMP ID for Puja? EMP ID is 124. Simply select it and then go ahead with the execution. See one screen. One success. It means data updated successfully. Now simply select star from employee. See the Pujaka salary record is updated as 2,50,000 like here. Next, we'll try to delete the data. I am just trying to delete the data for here. Darshan 126 number record. How to delete? Simply use delete from employee where EMP ID equal to 126. Then see, here we are trying to delete the data. 126 number record is deleted successfully. See, now Darshan record is not available there. If you want to delete one or more rows, you can simply go with the delete. Then you can use delete from employee where EMP ID equal to. But instead of using where EMP ID equal to, I am just using where EMP ID in. And we are adding multiple like field here. You can simply consider as ID. I am adding 122. And the one more record we are trying to delete here, 125. Simply use delete query here. Delete from employee where EMP ID in we are using here, right? Yeah. See, now we are expecting only remaining data available there as a three records available there. It means by using delete, we are able to delete one more, more rows. Correct. You can simply use here in. And accordingly, you can simply pass the ID here. Okay. Then in this session, we have just seen here how to create the database. Next, how to use it. Then 
how we are going to create the table then if you want to check the description about particular table then simply use the desk and then table name then once we have inserted the data into database table then by using slash star form employee we are able to see the data in table as well next by using update we are able to update the data and by using delete we are able to delete the data one or more rows if you want to delete all data that also possible how by using delete from employee by using delete from employee it will delete all the data see one screen now all data is deleted successfully there is not available in single record simply slash star from employee there is not available in single record then upcoming sessions we have separate session available differentiate delete versus truncate we will see in detail those in upcoming sessions those sql joins aggregate functions complex queries we will see in upcoming sessions this session i don't want to create more complex that's why we have done with the very basic functionality here like create database use database create table insert data read the data and then update and delete the data then thanks for watching this video please do like share subscribe the channel to get more updates and in upcoming sessions we'll cover up the j2w concept as well where we are going to learn jdbc servlet and jsp then see you in next video